everyone, so today I am here and I'm going to talk about an experience I had this Christmas and why it was the one of the worst Christmases ever for me. Disclaimer here, um, I don't really normally talk about my personal life, but I thought that it would maybe help other people and just like be able to relate to other people. I am 21, I'm young, so a lot of people go through breakups and things like that, so I guess you guys can kind of see where this is going. Around Christmas Eve though this year, I got majorly sick as well, which is again why you haven't seen a video from me. So Christmas Day, I got into a massive fight with my boyfriend at the time, and we have been together, we had been together since June 30th, 2014, so we were going on six months. I didn't know how I wanted to this video to go. I kind of wanted it to be like a sort of, um, like a video diary and just kind of how I feel about the whole situation. Um, so my boyfriend and I were dating again, like I said, six months. He's three years younger than me. He is 18. When we first started dating, I was 20 and he was 17. I think the hardest thing that I dealt with was that allowing someone else to completely change your personality or change who you are to fit them. And to a certain extent, when you love someone, yeah, you're going to change, but um, I get this is so cheesy, but at the beginning of Selena Gomez's song, um, The Heart Wants What It Wants, when she talks about how, like, she's, like, crying in the beginning and she's saying, like, you know, one person can just, like, completely tear your confidence down and things like that. And that, I think, is the hardest thing to go through is when someone can just tear you down like that. And it took two years for me to finally build that confidence of myself back up and then someone just tear it down. And that's the hardest thing, and I feel like, the older you are, the easier it is to get through, but I feel so bad for girls that when I, I remember being a senior in high school and like thinking the world was ending because I was so like heartbroken. And I just want like girls to know like it's not right to let someone completely do that to you. Your happiness and your personality and who you are is so special and you shouldn't let anyone dictate your happiness to you. Like, you need to be able to be happy. And if that person, <coughs> oh my gosh, if that person doesn't make you happy, then they're not the person that you need to be allowing to see how special you are. You need to move on because they're not worth your time. Right before college, I got broken up with. So, and it was a pretty miserable breakup. So I was single for two years before I even started remotely dating again. So the two years that I was single, um, from my freshman to my junior year of college, I learned a ton about myself because I was finally single after just like always having a, you know, a boyfriend throughout high school, which is when you really grow up and, you know, start to understand who you are and things like that. And um, I didn't get that chance because I was always attached to someone else. So when I finally was single and got to really work on myself, I really, you know, develop a sense of who I think I am and things like that. I know that I am a very strong-willed person. <laughs> I'm, I'm very stubborn. I can be majorly bitchy. I'm just a loud person. I'm not quiet, um, which is, which is I'm sure you could, you know, tell from someone who does YouTube videos that I would not be like some like shy little person. Um, <coughs> I also, a um, very dedicated person when I'm in a relationship. Growing up, I wasn't like, I want to be this, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a nurse, or whatever. I always wanted to be a wife. I'm, it's very much like my dream in life. Like, I love love, I love to love someone. Um, so, that was just something I knew about myself. And so, when I'm in a relationship, I'm very dedicated and I'm very all about that person and making, wanting that person to be happy and things like that. So, when I, I'm in a relationship, like that's all, like you know, I think about, like I try to make sure that person feels loved and wanted and things like that. And from my last two relationships, um, you know, it really has broken me down. I really like torn myself apart and how I react to um, someone disrespecting me. I like very much like I like let it go because like I love them and things like that. And I just wanted, I guess, to make this video to sh tell girls, like, you need to be able to stand up for yourself and really work on um, 
not letting a person like once you develop who you are and you know who you are to not let someone else like tear you down um, and really decide who you are so you know I know I'm a huge lover and I like I love to make someone else happy but I also you know need to be selfish to a certain point where like I need to make sure that I'm happy as well and not staying in something that I wasn't happy in I was doing my part what I live next to my parents so hold on the other person ha the other person's happiness can't come for mine and I need to realize that if I'm doing everything that I can like trying to make that person happy and make sure that person knows they're loved and everything else and if they can't do that for me then it's just not the right person and we just don't connect and as much as that like hurts and stings and anytime you know we live in the same neighborhood so anytime I see that this person's car drive by I want to cry um, I need to know that I'm deserved to be loved and know that I'm loved just as much as he does and I think that's what a lot of teenage girls struggle with with dating teenage boys because we're all learning who we are right now and sometimes some people aren't at the point in their lives where they're they understand how to make another person feel good as well so you just can't always blame yourself and I feel like I did that so much so many times I've called my friends crying my eyes out because I didn't feel like I was you know, I was being a horrible girlfriend or I wasn't doing this enough for them or this enough and this enough and that's not right. My favorite quote of all time, it's a, from a Bible verse, it's this too shall pass <coughs> and it's this too shall pass and I feel like that is a very, very close quote to my heart because I've been through hell and back um, over the years. I have a huge just past that I've dealt with. Um, but you know what that was five six years ago when i was in middle school or you know whenever it was for you and like we're here 2000 almost in 2015 and like i'm okay and i just have so much more to look forward to you just have to really know like you have other things to look forward to like i know i have um internship to look forward to in school and i'm almost graduating college and i have my life to look forward to and i don't need to drag someone through that because I feel like I love them but they're not making me a better person and all that is going to do is just pause my life until I can finally realize that I'm worth more than I'm allowing myself the credit for is to like honestly if you if you like feel how you need to feel like I remember with my ex like I was terrified to break up with this person because um I knew like the gut gut wrenching feeling that I had with breaking up with my other boyfriend when we were in high school and it hurt and it felt like it was the end of the world but I'm also three years more mature and realized that like I'm also 21 and like I am ready to start settling down in the next you know five years or whatever and I want to find that person and if that person isn't the person I'm with then you know what move on and so it's easier so it wasn't as gut-wrenching as my past breakups have been um, but you also need to feel how you feel so if it is that then just feel it and cry and you know what when I saw his car go by The first time since we broke up I bawled my eyes out, but you know what the second time I went by I was like Okay, like, I don't I know I felt like I needed to cry but like I actually didn't so I didn't cry like you just You don't have to f you know feel how you think you need to feel so if you like if you really feel fine Then you know what you feel fine. You don't need to get upset or things like that like you just feel how you feel and move on and you know it's not the end of the world I know it feels that way it feels like god like you know I have two more weeks till I've been start school to just be miserable about the fact that I'm single again but you know what I mean I'm single again like I can go and have fun with my friends I, I haven't been able to be 21 since I've been dating a younger guy like I haven't been able to go out with my friends because he didn't like it like or he didn't like this or he didn't like that and I was I just been miserable so you know what I can go out and have fun with my friends and be 21 and be young and enjoy my college experience so like you don't need to let someone else weigh you down and someone else show you your self-worth because you are worth so much and if that person can't see it then move the hell on because they're not worth your time I hope you guys like this video um i don't know if i'm going to continue this might be the last i say of my breakup on christmas because that's a miserable thing to talk about um but if you guys have any questions or you 
like this and you have another topic you'd want me to talk about, then leave a comment down below. And I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and hope you have a Happy New Year. I have more videos that are happy and not as miserable um, that are going up, so you can enjoy those. Um, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Jack Widow, baby!